Keeping your distance while driving is essential. It's the only way to maintain the space required to break or maneuver in an emergency. When danger arises and you must stop, the time required can be divided into three steps. First, there's the time to see and decide. Then, the time to react. And finally, the time required to break to a stop. Each of these times corresponds to a distance. The total stopping distance is the distance traveled from the moment you see the danger until you stop your vehicle. Go away! Scram! Scram! Many factors influence the total stopping distance. Speed plays an important role as it affects the three phases of the process. As for the condition of the driver, it affects the phases of perception, decision, and reaction. Finally, the weight of the vehicle, the condition of the brake system, and the friction between the tires and the road surface affect the time needed. Shoo! Woof! I don't think it's funny. Cows aren't a part of my contract. So, for each moving vehicle, there is a danger zone in front of the vehicle corresponding to the total stopping distance. This zone also exists behind and on each side of the vehicle, where safety can be compromised by a moving object or another vehicle. This is why it's important that you always maintain a safety cushion all around your vehicle. In front, the distance must be longer than the danger zone and sufficient to allow you to react to danger either by braking or driving round the obstacle. In practice, how should you maintain a safe distance while driving? The distance between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you is called the following distance. To drive safely and reduce the risk of being involved in a collision, it must take you at least two seconds to cover this distance under ideal conditions at city speeds. To calculate this distance, choose a fixed point of reference in front of the vehicle ahead of you, a billboard for example. As soon as the rear of the vehicle ahead of you passes that reference point, begin to count 1001, 1002, which represents about two seconds. 1001, 1002? If you've finished counting before the front of your vehicle reaches the reference point, you can rest assured that you have a sufficient space between your car and the car in front of you under ideal conditions. Increase your following distance to 3, 4, or even 6 seconds, if necessary, depending on the following. The speed of your vehicle on the highway count at least 3 seconds. The condition of the road surface. Weather conditions. Traffic density. And your driving experience under the existing conditions. But what can you do when someone tailgates you? You can't slow down for them. Instead, increase your following distance by gradually slowing down. You will then have a longer distance allowing you to brake more gradually, thus avoid being hit. You will also encourage the tailgater to pass you. Also check the space on both sides of your vehicle. While passing parked vehicles, keep well over to the left in your lane in order to keep at least three feet, or one meter, of space from the parked vehicles. You will then avoid a collision should someone open a door unexpectedly. You will also have more reaction time should a pedestrian appear between parked vehicles. When you stop at a traffic light, maintain a reasonable and safe distance from the vehicle ahead. Being able to see the rear tires touching the road is a good guide. This space has many advantages. First, it prevents exhaust and hot air from the vehicle ahead entering your vehicle. This distance also provides you with a safety margin should the car ahead of you roll back by mistake. Also, if the car ahead breaks down, you'll have sufficient space to drive around it. You could do the same to avoid being struck from the rear. Finally, if you are actually hit from behind, you would also reduce the risk of colliding in turn with the vehicle ahead. My 
My, my, there's a lot involved in earning one's living. Maintain a safety cushion around your vehicle. This space must be sufficient to allow you to break or drive around an obstacle. For a minimum safe following distance, you should keep at least a two-second interval from the vehicle ahead. To calculate this distance, choose a fixed reference point in front of the vehicle ahead, and as soon as the rear of the vehicle passes it, count 1001, 1002. If you have finished counting before the front of your vehicle reaches the reference point, you are maintaining the minimum two-second following distance. Be ready to increase your following distance to three, four, or even six seconds, depending on your speed, the condition of the road surface, weather conditions, traffic density, and your driving experience in the existing conditions. When you are being tailgated, gradually slow down in order to create a larger space cushion ahead. While passing parked vehicles on your right, keep well over on the left in your lane in order to keep a side space of at least three feet or one meter. When you stop behind a vehicle, make sure you can see the rear tires touching the road.